What's up guys, I'm Rhett. Welcome back to Lawn Insider. We're in the midst of what's forecasted to be a 20 plus day streak of highs in the triple digits. So in today's video, we're gonna go over some tips on how to maintain your lawn in the extreme summer heat. So we've already had five or six straight days of 100 plus degree highs. And you can see that currently the lawn is still doing really well. But the problem is that we've got a minimum of two more weeks of this and there's also no rain in the forecast. So let's go ahead and jump into these tips. The first and most obvious tip is to stay on top of your watering. And watering is all about when you water and how much you water. So as far as when, we wanna water early in the morning because if we water later in the afternoon, we're gonna lose a lot of that water to evaporation. And if you water at night, your grass is gonna be more susceptible to catching a disease. And how much water you need is gonna be between an inch and an inch and a half per week. So if you've been using an inch of water on your lawn all season, but then you start to notice a little heat stress, you might wanna think about ticking that up to an inch and a half. And the way that I know how much water I'm putting down is by using these measuring cups, which I got off of Amazon. They come in a pack of 10 and it just allows you to really dial in your irrigation system. If you don't wanna buy anything, you can also just use empty tuna cans and run the same test in your lawn. And then another tip that I wanted to give y'all as far as watering goes is gonna to be to use a moisture management product. This is called Hydratain, and it comes in a liquid form, which you're seeing right here, and a granular form. And I would actually say that the granular form is easier to apply, but what Hydratain does is it can pull moisture from the humidity and make that usable for the grass. The next tip is gonna revolve around fertilizing. And a lot of places are just gonna tell you to stop fertilizing altogether over the summer, but that's usually in reference to cool season turf. So I'm not gonna give you that advice. I want you to continue to fertilize. I just don't want you to push your lawn as hard with nitrogen over the summer because the heat alone is already gonna push enough growth to where it's gonna be hard enough to keep up with your mowing. So my advice would be to either make smaller applications with your current fertilizer or look into a fertilizer that has an analysis with a lower nitrogen number and a higher potassium number. And these are usually gonna be touted as stress blends. The stress blend that I'm gonna use this year is from Yard Mastery. And even at bag rate, which is three pounds per thousand square feet, if you use that full rate, you're only gonna put down a fifth pound of nitrogen per thousand square feet on your lawn. A little caveat to fertilizing, if your lawn has already succumbed to the heat and the drought, and you're already in summer dormancy, then you don't need to fertilize. You would just be wasting that fertilizer. The only thing that's gonna wake your lawn up and turn it green at that point is water. The next tip deals with mowing height, and I'm actually not planning on trying this one myself because I still plan on maintaining my lawn at just a hair over a half an inch this summer, but a lot of people will tell you to raise your height of cut over the summer because the taller the grass, the deeper the roots, and the deeper the root system, the better your turf is able to deal with stress. My last tip is about when to apply herbicides, fungicides, pesticides, and even some fertilizers over the summer. And I'm not referring to what date to apply, I'm talking about what time of day to apply. Because when you get the type of heat that we've been getting, I like to play it on the safe side. And even if the product says it has no temp restrictions, I like to apply early in the morning or later in the evening when it's not too hot to avoid unnecessary turf damage. Before we go, I wanted to tell y'all that I would love to see some of y'all's lawns, especially those of y'all that have been following for a while and some of the advice might've helped you throughout the season. Please email me those pictures to rhett at lawninsider.com and you'll have a chance to have your lawn showcased on a future video. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave me a like. If you're enjoying the content and you wanna to continue to see more of it, hit the red subscribe button below. And if you have any questions, yeah. comments, concerns, leave those in the comment section below. I'll see y'all again next week. Lawn Insider and Little Lawn Insider, out. Bye.